Hello everyone. Welcome to Creators Call Shop here on YouTube. My name is Marcy and I'm so glad that you're joining me here today. I've got some little ring binders here today that I wanted to do a flip through with you on. But first, before we get started, go ahead and get yourself a drink, get yourself comfortable, and we'll be back in just a minute to show you what's inside. Alright, we're back. Okay, so today these little mini ring binders are journals that I assembled out of the little photo albums and things that you find in the thrift stores. So I have this one here. This, believe it or not, was a Mickey Mouse Disney themed uh, photo album and I went ahead and I painted it yellow and decoupaged on it and turned it into something else. This one you can tell was a mini album, but I've decorated it up a little bit more. And then this one was a We Are Memories, Memory Keepers album, and it's a little bit different shape for you. So what's unique about all of these? Well, first of all, I made them, just kidding. <laughs> what's unique about these is that each one of them is built around a children's storybook, and then I tried to match the colors and things that were within those stories. And so as we go through, I will show you the story that it goes with, um, and then you'll see that inside. So each journal, I also use up scraps and, and different things to try to match the color scheme of those storybooks. Every one of them has lots of writing and gluing space. Uh, the original story pages, as well as other papers like music papers, children's readers, um, dictionary pages, and scrapbook papers, card stocks. Um, and then I uh, also included some of the original mini photo sleeves. And inside of those, I put coordinating papers as well. So you can use these then as a photo album, a scrapbook, a journal, recipe binder, whatever you really want. So let's go ahead and go through these one by one. I will try to be quick, and if it gets to where it takes a little bit too long, then I will put music behind it and speed up the film for you so that this, this isn't a crazy long video for you. All right, so let's start with this one right here. This one is built around this sweet little book called My Little Book of Birds. And this is just the cover. I intend to use these covers. These were books that were not in the best of shape. The stories were great and the pages were good. Uh, the covers I will probably use for my bread and butter journals. And I have a series of those in my shop um, under the heading basic journals, but those are wire bound and they also use up scraps and things. So inside this little guy, first you see I have some vintage fabric. Now my vintage fabrics I order from Etsy and eBay. So if they say they're vintage, I believe them. This one I think may have been a feed sack fabric, but I don't remember for sure. And then I added uh, applique here and fabric flowers and one of these cute little wood buttons. And then one of the mini doilies that I have on offer in my shop. And I think that just dressed it up really nicely. Then on the inside cover, we have, let me turn this around. On the inside cover, this little album, I think was used for a business or something. So there's a lot of writing in here and there was a business card taped inside. So I covered all that up and this here's a pocket and I put in a couple of pieces of card stock in there for you. And then I just punched some paper lace edge and just covered that up and then you'll see when we get to the back I did the same thing back there starting off we have one of these photo sleeves and card stock original fly leaf for the book flash card this here's a little pocket and I just put in a piece of writing paper for you and then there's your title page so this one's about a family of robins and they build a nest 
and they raise their family and then family moves away and comes back so it's kind of the whole life cycle of the little birdies you see i love this one because we have robins that like to nest in our tree and another family out in front of our garage and so i love this book okay and then this particular album has these index tabbed index dividers that came in actually a different mini binder a recipe one and there were a lot of them so i just divided them between this book and that other one that one has since sold so this one is still remaining okay. and i will just flip through very quickly there's another photo sleeve and then all of these have different types of pages to go in day timers from the 80s if you'll remember those 80s or like early 90s here's an example of a book page this one's been coffee dyed and then this is an old recipe book page I like the color on that and then these these were cut out of a book on embroidery so you'll see some of these in there as well This is from a hymn book. It's a page and I cut out the prayer on the back so you have just some music on the front and then this prayer. And then in the back on this one I have some scraps for you. There's a couple of extra one, two, three photo sleeves with paper in it and then a lot of scraps and things to play with so that you can add them into your journal. And then here on the very back cover again where I was covering up some of their writing and stuff I made your uh, book pocket like a library card pocket with a this book belongs to card so that you can write your name on it. All right, so that's the first one, My Little Book of Birds. The second one is built around this little book, The Hungry Lion. And he's missing a couple of pages in the story. It still reads fine. You still get the gist. But just so you know, it didn't have the complete story, which is one of the reasons I put it in this binder. Then this image came from a children's reader and I just like the image and the colors because they match the story colors and doesn't have anything to do with lions but I like it and then I decoupaged on the front and the back this is a bible page from Daniel in the lion's den where it tells the story of Daniel and the lions so that's what that is this is really old ribbon from my mom's sewing basket so 70s or 80s old trim and there's your page where you get to write your name I can't think of the right word right now photo sleeve and here's your title page for the hungry lion and then where the pages were a little delicate I did use washi tape to reinforce And this right here is the center of the book, so I left the two pages together.
and we are at the end and it ends with a photo sleeve so that is the hungry lion with the cute little children on the front and then this last one is um, built around this book David and Goliath let's see if I can get that so it's not glaring at you there you go it came with this CD so if you want the CD it's perfectly intact it hasn't even been opened so um, if you would like that I will take the CD out and include it with the album and then you can read along with the story and then this one since it's a we are memory keepers I left the label plate intact so that you can label there I left this a little plain this is vintage fabric vintage buttons that I got from various sources um, on Etsy I made the yo-yo to go there for a little decoration on the cover. It's kind of plain. You could add whatever you want. If you want to add a label or a picture or whatever, it's got lots of room there for you to personalize it. And then the front was, it had been sun faded and apparently never used. So this is in mint condition. I mean, other than the fact that I just doctored it up with fabrics and things, but the actual binder is in really good shape. And these things retail at $14.99. So that's a pretty good little, you got a pretty good little binder here. And then um, since this one is a little bit of a different shape, it has square photo sleeves. And so all of the photo sleeves that came in this binder are in this album. It's a lot of explanation, I feel like, but it's good to know. There's your title page. And then I also included some of the original um, sized photo sleeves from the other little mini binders because I've got quite a few. And then this last page, there's a scrap of paper here. I've got some pieces and scraps here for you to uh, play with and decorate. And then this, I liked the color. I wanted to keep it, but it's actually the inside flyleaf of the book. So it tied in very nicely. Alrighty. So those are my three mini ring binder journals made from mini ring binder. So, um, those are in my shop currently, and um, here we go, trying to get it so you can see all of them. Um, I just remembered a vital piece of information I forgot to mention in my video. <laughs> so I forgot to tell you how many pages and all of that were in them. So on David and Goliath, this one here, this one. This one, now I'm trying to remember, I measured this yesterday. This one was like nine by seven, roughly. This one has 90 pages. And when I say page, I'm referring to the front and the back. So this is a page face. Each side is the face. Um, this is the whole page by itself. So 90 actual pages, which is 180 page faces. It has the square photo sleeves made from the We Are Memory Keepers binder. Then I told you about the CD and the vintage fabrics and things. My Little Book of Birds has 92 pages. 
that's this one right here it has 92 pages within it's got um, the covers inside um, I made the pockets inside the covers it has the tab dividers which I mentioned I think that was it this is a six six and a it's like a six and a half by six and a half to accommodate six by six papers so if you have a paper pad you want to insert in there a six by six paper pad will fit very nicely and then this is my one made from the hungry lion there she is also a six and a half by six and a half fits six by six papers and it has 80 pages and again reminder that this one is missing a couple pages out of the original story but it um, it still reads fine I read through it and you can you still get the idea for our quote of the day today we are reading from Helen Steiner Rice I have this lovely book and I love her stuff I'm really appreciating her so today we're going to read this poem prayers can't be answered unless they are prayed before we go ahead and read, I do want to mention that if you're liking this video and want to see more of my content, give me thumbs up, subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, do all of that stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and read our poem by Helen Steiner Rice about prayer. Prayers can't be answered unless they are prayed. Life without purpose is barren indeed. There can't be a harvest unless you plant seed. There can't be attainment unless there's a goal, and man's but a robot unless there's a soul. If we send no ships out, no ships will come in, and unless there's a contest, nobody can win. For games can't be won unless they are played, and prayers can't be answered unless they are prayed. So whatever is wrong with your life today, you'll find a solution if you kneel down and pray, not just for pleasure, enjoyment, and health, not just for honors and prestige and wealth, but pray for a purpose to make life worth living and pray for the joy of unselfish giving. For great is your gladness and rich your reward when you make your life's purpose the choice of the Lord. I'm just going to let that sit there and let you guys think on that for a bit. And then the verse that goes with it. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6, 33. So he's talking about not worrying about the things of your life in that passage and what you're going to eat and what you're going to wear. And he actually points out the example of sparrows. So we have our little robins here. They don't worry about that. And the flowers don't worry about what they're going to wear. And God provides for them. And so he's talking about if you seek God's righteousness and his kingdom first, everything else will be provided for you. You don't have to worry about it. And along with that, if you don't pray, then you lose out on an opportunity for God to work in your life. All right. I want to thank you so much for joining me and watching me today. Again, remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already done so. And then I have links down below in the description box for my Etsy shop and other places to connect with me around the web. So like Instagram or um, my Facebook page. If I happen to mention in any video channels or shops or products that I've um, you know where I've acquired things or people that I've gotten ideas from I always list those down below as well under a heading it says mentioned in this video and sometimes they're my things that are also in my shop so I just give you the links for all of that and then until next time I want to thank you for being with me today this is Marcy with Creators Call Shop challenging you to do something creative and be inspired today bye bye